This one's uh, was one of my favorite in high school. Uh, interview with the Vampire, Tom Cruise, Brad Pitt, young. Um, what's her name? Uh, da 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 da. Um, Kristen Dunst and uh, Christian Slater, Antonio Banderas. Um, but yeah, I, I love. I loved this movie when I was growing up, like high school, college time. But it was just cool to see them go through like the time, like starting out, you know, in the past, Louisiana, I believe it, like New Orleans, and then going into modern day and like seeing Brad Pitt, you know, having to deal with becoming a vampire and living that life and having to make decisions based on that life and it's good yeah he's he's like a new orleans his like family owns a plantation there and they think he's like cursed so they like burn down the whole plantation yeah it's, it's one of one of the uh the better vampire movies for sure Still, I, I would if I had to choose, like which vampire movie I would have to watch. Like if I could only have one, maybe like Near Dark. Near Dark or Lost Boys. I was really hoping for a sequel or something because of the ending. There is a sequel, don't you know? You didn't know that there was a sequel. not good but there is a sequel it's called queen of the damned yeah dude stars alia as the uh the queen of vampires and um uh, what's his name i don't know what the dude's name is but he's lestat he takes over uh, tom cruise in the role Yeah, this is a sequel. The soundtrack is good. I like the soundtrack. You don't like vampire movies. Oh. I mean, there... There are some good ones. Yeah, none of the, the actors return, but it's by the same author, Anne Rice. It's a continuation of the of their life. The only person that's, that's between the two is Lestat, and uh, Tom Cruise didn't do it. It was some guy that was, I think he was also in League of Extraordinary Men. He played uh, the portrait guy, which I can't, I can't think of the character's name. But yeah, I used to listen to that soundtrack all the time. I thought it was cool that he he became like a uh, a rock star. <laughs> like he was like, what can I do? I can just be a vampire out in the open. I'll just be a rock star. This one scared the shit out of me when I was a kid. Twister. I always am like super scared of twisters. It's like the worst natural disaster I could think of. Is a twister. Because it comes basically without warning and will destroy everything. And Bill Paxton, yeah, he's awesome. It sucks that he died. Some of the, the CGI doesn't hold up. Like when you see the cows going through the, the tornado, it's pretty, pretty cheesy. But, I mean, it, it is good. The house I grew up on was Paxton Road. Did they name it after Bill Paxton? That would be awesome. Actually, I'm going to put Twister in the up, move up a shelf.
Oh, wow. I didn't even know I had this. That's pretty sad. Predators, triple feature. I thought, for some reason, this was the Alien vs. Predator collection, but it's actually just the Predator collection. So it's got Predator 1 with... Uh, um, uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger and uh, Jesse Ventura and um, Carl Weathers. Yeah, the shelves are like my tier system. The bottom shelf is like things that are okay. Um, I bought them, but I probably wouldn't watch them very many times. So I, I move it to the bottom to make room for the top. And as it goes up, you know, I have like uh, the haven't seen shelf, the favorite shelf, the ones that are okay, like I'll watch more often than the bottom shelf and the steel books. And then the bottom shelf, which is just like everything else. This is the bottom shelf that we're going through now. Predator 2 wasn't actually that bad. And Predators with. Um, Adrian Brody wasn't wasn't that bad either. Number one movie, Terminator 2, Judgment Day. Boom. That's on the favorite shelf up there. The unrated special edition and theatrical cut. Yeah, this is my favorite movie by far. It's, it's more nostalgia than anything, but, I mean, it's a really good movie, regardless. But um, when I was a kid, uh, we had a house fire, and we lost everything. And uh, so when we were kind of, like, out of a house, we, my mom had a friend that um, – had uh, his own computer shop and this is when computers were like thousands and thousands of dollars even for like the base because all the bases were basically all good you know <laughs> but you know dial up internet and stuff um but the uh he was rich as shit and um he like one of the first days i came over and we were like staying there he had this huge TV, and um, like back in that that time, TVs were like super fucking thick. Like, I mean, when you had like a fifty inch TV, it took up an extra like five feet in the back, kind of thing. You know, it's huge dimensions. But you know, when you're used to seeing a, a TV like this big. It's like a fucking amazing TV. And he's like, I want to show you something. And he sat me down on the couch and he's like, this will change your life. <laughs> and he put in, he got the VHS of Terminator 2 popped in in the system and he just left the room. And he's like, just sit there and watch this, you know. Probably just didn't want to watch me, you know. <laughs> so... He's like, just watch it. And I swear to God, I was blown away. I had never seen anything like it in my life. And I was probably only like 10 or so, maybe, at that point. And totally shouldn't have been watching Terminator. But it was amazing. Like all this uh, special effects. Like him turning into liquid metal. Walking through the, uh, the jail cell. And the twins with the needle sticking through the eye I just it was amazing I just I love it and it's still like st stuck with me like that's just my favorite movie you had one like that in your living room yeah yep and that's where my uh, PSN name comes from T800 underscore Skynet Speaking of horrible video game movies, In the Name of the King, two, two worlds, <laughs> like, <laughs> um, In the Name of the King is, I 
forget the, even the name of the game because it's not in the name of the king. Um, but I love the I love the video game. It's so awesome. It was on PC. Um, in the name of the king. Is it like Dungeon Siege? I'm trying to Google it real quick. A Dungeon Siege tale. Um, Dungeon Siege is an awesome PC game, but these movies are garbage. The first one starred um, Jason Statham. And in the game, or in the movie, they just call him like, Farmer, Farmer. Hey, Farmer. Because he was a farmer. <laughs> and the main character in the video game didn't have a name. You know, it was just you. But you had like a, a group. It kind of played like... Diablo, but you had a bigger party and you can control like pack mules and stuff and put all your equipment on mules. It was interesting. But it was fun, I loved it. Don't remember a lot of Terminator 2 because it's been years since I've seen it. Yeah, I mean it still holds up today in my opinion. I think it's still really good. But, like the special effects are still really solid. Um it's Still really good. Uh, the next one is Lost in Space. I picked this up. I had seen it before, uh, like when it first came out. Um, but I picked it up again when the TV's, uh, the miniseries came out on Netflix, which I highly recommend. The miniseries is really good. This one not so great but i do like gary oldman um but yeah this is bottom shelf for sure <laughs> it looks like a discount star trek it is um i i'm pretty sure the original series was made hmm. actually i don't know which one came first probably star trek but this used to be an old TV series too. And then they made a movie about it like 20, 30 years later. But yeah, it's pretty bad. But the miniseries is pretty good. That'll stay on the bottom shelf for sure. This one, I don't know why the hell this one's down here. This is a good movie. The, um, it's probably I put it down here because I'd seen it so many times that I just needed to make room. And I figured I'd put it down here. But The Princess Bride... This was like top 10 in high school. Princess Bride is bottom shelf material or the Lost in Space? Because we're about to, about to put up fists. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Lost in Space is definitely bottom, 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 bottom. Like under the oh no it got lost it's in space. <laughs> Princess Bride is I'll move it up. I haven't seen it in like a few years probably. I bought this one. I haven't watched it actually, so I don't know why this one's on the bottom. I think because they released it on Netflix for free, but it's uh Doom Annihilation. It's the newest Doom movie. It's low budget, but I'm pretty sure that they released it free, like a week after I bought it. They put it out for free on Amazon Prime or some shit, and that always pisses me off. But um, I heard like mixed reviews about it, and then they had um, some like references to uh, like uh, BJ in it, like they actually talked about him. But then it turned out to just be a, somebody's ID card had um, Laskovitz on it. It's staying at the bottom. This one... It was alright. This one is uh, The Intruder with uh, Dennis Quaid. And basically this couple down at the bottom, they buy his old house and 
like even after they move in and he supposedly moves away he keeps like hanging around the house like cutting the grass and like doing all these things taking care of the house it's it's okay it's like one of those home invasion movies by the end of it I did not like any Dune movies yet. All the Dune movies pretty much suck. The best part of the first Dune movie, or Doom movie with uh, The Rock, was the when it turned to first person shooter mode. Which sucks. I mean, I, I, I like The Rock, and I like um, Judge Dredd. Oh, what's his name? And he's in The Boys. Carl Urban. I think his name. I'm pretty sure that's his name, Carl Urban. Which is he's really good in Judge Dredd, or just it's just called Dredd. But if you haven't seen Dredd, that one's that one's really good. But yeah, the Intruder is all right. A reverse Get Out is definitely a stretch. Like it is nowhere near good as as good as Get Out. So. Katie Walsh from the Los Angeles Times. Yeah. Good try, though. This one's going to be controversial. I'm pretty sure. Because speaking of Get Out, <laughs> Us, I did not like this movie. Like, at all. I don't know why people do. I mean... There's some good moments for sure, but I don't know, and that's a hot take, I'm sure, like, for most people, they love this movie, but I just, I couldn't get into it, like, Get Out was so much better than this, and I think it was just mainly because, like, I didn't like the main character or like doppelganger voice like outside of like the first minute like it was creepy at first but then it was just like okay just I don't know it has some interesting parts and I can definitely see why people like it it's just not for me I just don't I don't know it wasn't as good as get out and I'm just gonna stand at the bottom did you like Get Out? Yeah. I thought Get Out was really good. Like, great, great twist. And back to uh, bad video game movies in the name of the King 3. I bought this at 7 Eleven. On, in their used DVD or used Blu-rays shelf staying at the bottom this one's even worse than the second one first one's the best out of the three but just avoid those um, I have a soft, soft spot for found footage films I'm pretty sure this was found footage Yeah, anyway, this uh, the pyramid. Um, so, what's weird is, like, these little stills don't match up with my memory of what the movie looked like. And what I thought was that they found, the one I'm thinking of is they found a, um, a pyramid in the sand, and inside it had, like, Anubis at the end. Um, it was all right. I mean, most of these are going to be, like, skips, except the ones that I've seen a lot, and so I just put them down at the bottom because I've seen them a lot, and they didn't quite reach a favorite, like, perfect example, the Mummy Trilogy. I like the Mummy 1 and the Mummy uh, Returns. They're okay. I don't think they're, especially, like, the Mummy 1, I don't think is bottom shelf material, but um, this was, like, Brendan Fraser at, the, at his prime. 
and after this, I mean, it destroyed his body because he did like all the stunts himself. Um, so he kind of like went downhill from here, which is unfortunate. I like Brendan Fraser; he did a lot of good stuff, and like even the shit movies, like I'm mean, not like I call them shit but movies, but I like them a lot. The like Encino Man, um, stuff like that. You know, I I enjoyed. I also um, like. One of my favorite movies of Brendan Fraser is, um, what was it, uh, School Ties, and that is why I absolutely hate Matt Damon. <laughs> that movie made me hate Matt Damon so much, he is such a dick. What's the name of the movie with the monkey, um, Monkey Bones, or Monkey, I think it's Monkey Bones, something like that. Actually, I could look it up. I'm pretty sure it's Monkey Bones. It is that? Okay. Monkey Bone. <laughs> Shit, I have had me nightmares when I was younger. <laughs> uh, this is Annabelle. I put it at the bottom because it's like... There's so many horror movies that I have at the top that it's just kind of like I just push it down um I just really haven't had an interest in watching it again like a lot of movies like horror movies like you kind of watch them once or twice and then kind of loses the the scare for me which I don't I wasn't like I don't really get scared at horror movies but it's just more interesting watching horror movies because I like to make and be in horror movies I don't make them I just act in them but um you know, that's what kind of why I watch a lot of horror movies. When I was really young, like four or five, I was constantly having nightmares about a big Bigfoot show. A big, like a TV show about Bigfoot. Fun fact, Michael Merchant is also a Bigfoot uh, researcher. Not this Michael Merchant. But there is another Michael Merchant that is a Bigfoot researcher. Finding Bigfoot. <laughs> yeah. I was, you know, that always when I was growing up, it was just like that f one funny picture of him, like, you know, walking through the woods, and that was it. So it wasn't like they had a bunch of stuff about Bigfoot. I'm in the midst of Bigfoot country. Are you gonna lay down? No, you just were uncomfortable. Um, this one's actually not bad. And I definitely liked it much more than the Disney version. But Beauty and the Beast. Um... I really like the actor that plays the Beast in this one, Vincent Cassil. Or Cassiel. Not sure how you pronounce his last name, but. Uh, this one's actually not bad. It's French. Um, but yeah, it's definitely better than the Disney version, in my opinion. Um, but some other movies Vincent Cassiel I love are um, Black Swan. And um, Le Pac de Loops, and also uh, The Messenger, the story of Joan of Arc. I like I like him in those movies. Yeah, I watch I watch a lot of horror movies. This one, that's one of my favorite movies of all time. A lot of these are starting to get into where I've just seen them so many times I put them down at the bottom. Um, I'll get into some of these that I just have no interest in watching that I got through like Horror Pack, which if you like horror films, um, the uh, I don't know if you like DVDs or collect Blu-rays or anything like that or ever buy them, but um, Horror Pack is actually a really good deal. 
um, you get four or five Blu-rays per month for like 20 bucks and they always have um, like uh, a horror pack exclusive um, but they uh, they have some good ones like and actually a lot of my f friends or people I've met before make them um, like I'm dreaming of white doomsday by uh, Michael Lombardi this one is really really good um, and then uh, the barn is like a classic throwback to like the 80s horror movies um, really cool costumes some friends of mine made this and I haven't actually watched this one um, I've seen parts of it but bong of the living dead <laughs> it's, it's it's funny but from what I've seen of it it was pretty funny but you get um, you know these special editions they're numbered on the side and you get like other movies some are which are really shit but other movies seem really pretty interesting But I've been subscribed to them for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, one year. Have I seen the movie The Platform? Uh, no. I saw it on, that it was on Netflix though, like where you, the image is like someone's like on a platform above the next person, I think. Like concrete platforms just floating. Kind of reminds me of The Circle. I think is what the movie called is called but they have like these little red circles that everybody's standing on in a giant circle and they have to basically I think vote one person out until they get down to the last one but I haven't seen the platform now I'll add that to the list too I'm assuming you you're bringing it up because it's good. So, and four horror movies are almost the only movies I watch now. It's like uh, the classics that you can always go back to. Like I fall asleep to Night of the Living Dead and Blair Witch Project a lot. Yeah, I don't mind reading subtitles. So, yeah, I'll have to give it a try. This is one that came in the uh, the uh, horror pack, but it's uh, two-headed shark attack and mega shark versus Crocosaurus. I don't think I'll ever watch it unless you know one day I'm that bored. Being in one of the the shark movies like that is enough for me. I don't have to watch them. <laughs> <laughs> there are so many uh, best part about Insidious is like the dream world it's pretty good um, I think I was more of a fan of like the paranormal activities but um, I really do like the uh, the Insidious part um, where it's like the uh, the red faced demon is like sharpening his claws like on the sewing machine kind of thing and it's like playing tiny tim tiptoe through the tulips you know that was really creepy <laughs> pretty good ah uh, this is i bought it i've seen it i saw it in theaters the it remake i wasn't a huge fan i'd really I think I just have a soft, soft spot for Tim Curry as Pennywise, and um, it was like more often than not, like I could only hear Tim Curry giving the lines, and it just felt weird listening to the same dialogue, but not having Tim Curry, and like he was just like, I don't know, it seemed 
too over the top. I don't know. It's, it has some good qualities, but a lot of it I just I wasn't a huge fan of. Um, so I never even watched the second one, to be honest. And I think I bought it, but I haven't watched it yet.